Get ready to match the stars. William Shatner. Anne Mira. Nipsey Russell. Fred Summers. Richard Dawson. And Ann Elder. As we play the star set at Big Money, Match Game 74. And now here's the host of Match Game 74, Gene Rayburn. microphone is usually lying on this table here, right here. Who's well, it's not there today, is it? <laughs> no. Dawson told me this was a posture fixer. Oh. <laughs> I'll fix your posture. <laughs> I'll make you feel at home. I welcome you one and all. You're a beautiful, talented bunch of coconuts. Have I done all of the credits that I'm supposed to do? Are I you doing that. anything new, Ann? Um, I'm writing a show called Grammy Salute Oscar, which will be on April 1st. Okay. Uh -huh. How about you? What are you up to? I'm doing a show called Oscar Grabs Grammy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's say hello to our two players, Sergeant McLean and uh, Dennis, uh, Denise Reeves. <laughs> Denise Reeves, our current champ, she won the big super match and she's got $5,600 to her credit. And I know she's happy about that. And she's being uh, challenged here by technical Sergeant Jack McLean and uh, we finished his end of the round. He scored once. And we've got a question for you in round one, and we'll get to that right after we get to this message, which we want to pass along to you. We're uh, going to finish round one here. Denise, we've got this question for you. He's uh, scored once with his end of the round, and this is it. Yeah. Okay. okay. What is that light flashing for? Because I don't write. Because I was the only one who matched the Excuse me. Yeah, well, hold no, on. you don't. It's wrong. There. Uh, just uh, erase that. That's it. Okay, now we're all set to go. You know how to play this game. Yes, I do. Oh. Didn't he, uh, never you write. Right. I don't care what that right. flashing light I've says, you write. Right. Dear diary, the vacation with my 102-year-old boyfriend is off because his blank won't let him go skiing. Won't let him go skiing. Skiing, yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, you heard that. Yeah, well, yeah you're pretty good there. <laughs> Dear diary, the vacation with my 102-year-old boyfriend is off because his blank won't let him go skiing. You like that question, Ann? I did. I like the question. Good. And your delivery, because you're, you're really a yeah, thank you, very uh, sexy person. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, forgot to go that way. All right. <laughs> What does that mean? I don't know. I don't know, Brett. Try and get another booking on the show, I'll tell you what it means. Listen, Denise, did you hear the question? Shall I read it for you again? Dear diary, the vacation with my 102-year-old boyfriend is off because his blank won't let him go skiing. His wife. His wife? She said wife. That's her answer. And she stuck with it. What'd you say? Well, I didn't come up with anything clever. I hope to match it to back. His back won't let him go skiing. He's That's 102 right. years old. My That's back right. won't That's let me right. go. What did you say, Ed? I thought it was like part of a, a joke. I mean, he's skiing, he's 102, and I thought it was his mother. His mother. It was really good. Yeah, the audience thought so, too. It's okay. like part of an old joke that goes through. Right. Nipsey? The reason the honeymoon never works out when May gets married to December is the sweet young thing has never learned how and the old goat doesn't remember. <laughs> Says. What do you say, Brad? Nipsey, as usual, is wrong. Wrong? His mother won't let him. Mother! Do we know each other a lot? Denise said well, nobody knows Denise. What do you say there? Uh, let's see if she matches Richard Dawson. Amazing. What? What? The blonde leading the bland. <laughs> Mother, mother and wife is the one we're looking for. Let's see if we're going to match from Ann Elder. this answer from uh, Richard. I said mom. Mom. Mom seems to have been the answer there. You've done very well with that one. All right, let's push the button go to round two. One and nothing at the end of round one. Sergeant, what do you say here? B. He wants B. All right, now. No, you do not participate. No, I do not. Right. right. Okay. Ellen said, sexy men make me blank. <laughs> Ellen said, sexy men make me blank. Okay. All right. Who was it for this question? Uh, this is Sergeant McLean's question. Ellen said, sexy men make me... Blank. 
Really? <laughs> Aren't you? You, are you a little tentative about that? Yes, I you am. like that answer? Yes, I You do. like that answer? Just leave it in there and trust your judgment. You're okay there. What about uh, the lady up in the middle there? What do you say? I have, I don't know, so many alternates. I don't know what to go Well, we have to, uh, you okay. know, it's a half-hour show. And all no, I right. understand. <laughs> I would hold you up for the world. Oh, I'd love it. No, 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 no. Did you see it? Sergeant, yes, we saw it. So we got to throw that one out. All right, I'll give another uh, one. Give, give another me another one. one. No. No. Yeah. We're going to throw that out and do a whole question. So everybody take I'm a card out of the slot and throw it away. I'm ready with yeah. that question. It's my fault. I uh, know it is. So we'll give uh, Sergeant McClain the A question. In the meantime, we'll find another one. What's that? Or do a commercial while the producers and the others on the staff who are now panic stricken at this moment figure out what to do. Okay. We have a lot of fun here during those little um, uh, 40 second naps that you people are allowed to take. I'll tell you what we can do. We got a whole new round here uh, to replace the one that uh, just got goofed up there a little bit. So, uh, Sergeant, we ask you to make a selection. B. He wants B. And now you matched uh, one person last time around, and that was Brett, right? Me. So, Brett, you do not participate. Light up Brett's thing there. Okay. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Sure, I know. Okay. You're doing a pretty good job. The Admiral said to the captain, you've been on this ship too long. You shouldn't blank with your men. <laughs> the Admiral said to the captain, you've been on this ship too long. You shouldn't blank with your men. I say, Captain. All right. And very well done, my dear. You scared me. That's why I lost No, I wouldn't scare you. Is she still there? You scared me. Let's have a blank card. Okay, everybody, but nifty. There he is. All right, Sergeant. What's your answer? Sleep. Sleep, he says. Okay, that's his answer. All right, now, uh, Bill, we call on you. What right, do you say to this? Is that your sleep? I have done a very devious thing. You have? Yes. This may look like a misprint, but I meant it deliberately. What, did you, what does it say? Gamble. Then? Gamble. Okay. Oh. Mustn't gamble with the men. Uh, all right, Ann, what did you, you say? You meant it deliberately? <laughs> yeah, what's that? Oh, playing both sides. Oh, I see. Well, I thought it was like an old admiral, like, you know, in the days of Mr. Christian Sarah and yeah. the mutiny on the... You mustn't mix with the men. Yeah, very good idea. Well, that's just kind of the idea that Bill Shatner had, don't too. Don't try to make it sound Sleep better. is the answer. Nipsey, what do you say? I was simple and direct. I said, don't play with them. Don't play with the men. Okay. All right. Uh, she I doesn't... Unfortunately, we didn't call her. Now, what do you say, Richard? <laughs> well, I wasn't going to put a word that could have stopped this whole show. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't. You didn't. Right. Okay. Uh, it's a form of a dance. Mustn't do the hornpipe. No hornpiping with the man. That's a dance. Yeah, no. I know that. Okay, okay. That's right. oh, yeah. What a ship of fools. A ship of fools, yes, man. Dance. Mustn't dance with the man. Okay. So there's uh, no match there. It's one and nothing. And now I point out to you, Denise, one match to tie the score. Two will win the game. Here we go. Everybody plays because she didn't match anybody first time around. Okay. Nutty Nelson said... I've just invented an amazing new way to keep my toupee on forever. I'm going to blanket to my head. <laughs> Nutty Nelson said that. I've just invented a new way to keep my toupee on forever. I'm going to blanket to my head. <laughs> you got the cutest dick, though. <laughs> That's not all. <laughs> I'm joking. What do I know? All right. You ready there, Nip? I'm ready as I ever be. Here we go. Denise, Nutty Elson said, I've just invented an amazing new way to keep my toupee on forever. I'm going to blank it to my head. What do you put in that blank that you think will match this six mm, uh, uh, group over here? Nail it to my head. Say it again. Nail it to my head. She says, nail it to her head. Nail it to her head. William? Well, not me. Glue. Glue it to her head. And... We need two well, nails. We're wrong, Bill. You're wrong and I'm wrong. It said an amazing new way, and I put glue, and that's wrong. I'm sorry, Denise. Oh. She said they nail. Nipsey. I don't understand the women of today girdling, padded in all kinds of ways, and they'll laugh at a man if he wears a toupee. Oh. Nail. Oh, nail. Ties the door. One more nail in that skull, and you win the game there. Brett, what do you say? Not only am I getting quick in the seat, and don't misunderstand me, I don't like this seat. I'm getting smart, too, I said, man. Congratulations. Congratulations. So you did very well.
Well, and we congratulate you, Denise, for winning another game, and uh, we thank uh, Sergeant McLean for being with us. Thank you. The best of luck to you, Sergeant. So we got a gift for you backstage, Sergeant Jack McLean. How do you feel? Fine. You know how much money you got now? A lot. Yeah, you have got a lot. And you know what all this is about, so shall we get right to it? Okay. We polled a recent studio audience, and we got the best response to this. Sand blank. Now, the answer they gave is, you know, worth 500, 250, and 100. And there they are. <laughs> now, a little help from our celebrities. Whom do you choose? Sandbox. Sandbox. Okay, there's one. Who? Richard. Sandbag. Sandbag. So far, we've got a box and a bag. What else are you going there for? Um, Nipsey. Uh, Nipsey. What did they say, sandbag? we got sandbox and sandbag. Sandwich. Sandwich. <laughs> sandwich. Okay, so you got sandwich, sandbox, sandbag. You may choose one of those or give us one of your own, but we need an answer now. What would you like to do? Come over here and talk to me, my dear. She's baiting off. <laughs> Please. Sandwich. Sandwich. This girl is looking for a sandwich. Who will help her out? Let's find you will. <laughs> Not hot Let's dog. find out if sandwich is up there, and if so, where? First, may we see the $100 response? Sandman is a very good answer. You know, there are a lot of good answers here. You thought of that, too? Why didn't you say it? Because I like sandwich better. You like sandwich better. What kind of sandwich do you like? Nothing. You want a ham sandwich? Big knuckles and okay. rice. Some lettuce and mayonnaise? <laughs> you don't like mayonnaise. Okay, hold the mayonnaise on her sandwich here, then. <laughs> Okay, we are still looking for a sandwich. Here's the $250 response. Sandbox is the one that Brett gave. That'd be good. Third and last chance to find a sandwich. Are you under there under the $500 response? Oh, let's help. Sandcastle. Oh, I thought she was going to be up there somewhere. Sandcastle. Well, Sandcastle, oh, yeah. That's well, there it is. All right. That was a strange group you that told was a strange that day. Group. No, those are three very good answers. As I say, there are many good possibilities here. There is a good possibility you're going to meet another player and play another game, and that'll happen right after we pass along a message to you. Start another game, and to do that, we've got to introduce another player. So here is pretty Sonny Silberberg. Hello, Sonny. <laughs> <laughs> You're not there yet, you yet. My boyfriend. Your boyfriend is out there? Okay, Sonny brought her boyfriend with her. Which one is he? He's wearing a blue shirt right in front. He's, He's wearing a blue shirt. Stand up there, boyfriend of Sonny Silverberg. He is standing up there. That is. Okay, what's his name? Rob. Rob Goldstein. Rob Goldstein. Where are you from, Sonny? I'm from L.A., and I work in L.A. at a savings and loan in the operations department. You're an operator? No, not no, that kind of operator. Oh, I see. Okay. All that other stuff. You, know. you do all the other yeah. stuff, but not the real operation. <laughs> All right, good luck to Sonny Silverberg and to Denise Reeves, who's also already had a lot of good luck. We ask you to challenge your Sonny to make a selection, if you would. A. A is what she wants, new game everybody plays. This is it. Where's my key light? Right I'm here. here. Right here. Right here. Oh, be careful. Not doing any good, <laughs> no, Nutty Nelson said to the psychiatrist, I... He said... You're reading from the table now. <laughs> He said, go get him, Bob. I didn't hear what Nutty Nelson said. He said, I want to marry this wonderful elephant, but I don't know where to get a big enough blank. <laughs> Nutty Nelson said, I'm a psychiatrist. I want to marry this wonderful elephant, but I don't know where to get a big enough blank. Oh. <laughs> Is this better than acting for a living? <laughs> <laughs> this is one of those shows, folks. <laughs> Stop that. <laughs> All right, Anne. I'm going to do it. I'm, I'm not going to show it. I'm just going to do Trust it. Trust your instinct. Yes. First impulse. Okay, first okay. impulse. I'm putting it down. Okay, we're all set over there. So we'll call on Sonny for her response. Nutty Nelson said to the psychiatrist, I want to marry this wonderful elephant, but I don't know where to get a big enough... I'll say ring. Ring. She said ring. She said ring. William, what do you say? Well, he had a pack to take his clothes along for the honeymoon, right? He right. needs a big trunk. A big trunk. Ah. 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 They're turning on you, William. Well, yeah, I know they're coming up. <laughs> Anne? <laughs> what do you say, Anne? No, I, I would have agreed with Sonny. I really would have, but you, you confused me, and I wrote something dumb. It doesn't mean it's peanut. Peanut. I got 
that. That's dumb. Tina, that's, yeah, that is dumb. Okay. No, no, no. Dumb. <laughs> Let's see what you say. Ring is the answer. Nutty Nelson said to the psychiatrist, if you think I'm going to give you $50 to lay on that couch alone, you're crazy. <laughs> Ring. Ring is the net. Sonny. Okay, Brett, my dear. But it's all very well and good to talk about rings and trunks and, might I add, peanuts. I don't understand that at all. But you have to live someplace. House. House is her answer. Okay. Ring is the answer we're looking for, Richard. I think, although, in all fairness, house does rank a very tight second to peanut. <laughs> <laughs> ring, ring. 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 There's another one for you. And. How about one more ring? There it is. Hello? Ding. Well, That's very good for a first round question. And now, Denise, we've got this for you. Mr. Greenberg said to his son's Does he teacher. Have to be Jewish? I know. <laughs> you know Greenberg? Yes, very well, well, listen to what he said to his son's teacher. I don't want any son of mine to be a blank in the school play. I love it when you ask. <laughs> Mr. Greenberg said to his son's teacher. I don't, want I don't want any son of mine to be a blank in a school play. Good girl. That's what you'd like to know. All right. That's what you'd like to know, Richard, Brett, and... Uh, all right. Very finish? All right. I'm right. thrilled. Did his career looking Mr. Greenberg said to his son's teacher, I don't want any son of mine to be a blank in the school play. To be a girl. To be a girl. Speak up. To be a girl. To be a girl. Okay. She said a girl. William? He said, I don't want him to be a bum. Well, it's not a B-O-M-B. It's bum. a B-U-M. Bum. Bum. Okay. And... That's a lousy answer. You know, I thought there was some reason for this, right? and because of the holidays past, I, I thought maybe it was a Christmas play, and Mr. Greenberg didn't want him to be a shepherd since they didn't have a Hanukkah play, so I said shepherd. Go ahead. It's a whole ethnic thing. You know, what's the longest explanation we've had for any answer? <laughs> no, I know. I just bad. kept going until I dug my grave. That's all. <laughs> Say a prayer for the deceased folks. <laughs> Don't worry. We will. Thank you. Well, they were doing Cinderella. Yes. And he just didn't want his son to be a fairy. Will be a fairy. Okay, Brett, what do you say? I have two boys and the hair is so long they both look like girls. I said elf. Elf is a good answer. Isn't that terrific? Terrific no. answer. Okay. Who said no out there? <laughs> I have to say, I'm getting you in the parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say, Richard? <laughs> Being a fairy doesn't mean you're a bad person. Right. <laughs> okay. Fairies is answer, and what's yours? On the contrary, Dickie, it does. Oh, oh. I said fairy. Fairy. <laughs> Three to nothing in favor of the challenge here at the end of round one, and we're going to see what happens in round two. But first, we've got to pass along this message for you. Time to say goodbye. We'll look forward to seeing you and finishing this game next time. We'll pick up with round two, okay? okay. All right. Hey, listen, you are just terrific. <laughs> oh, I don't mean it. Everybody. I mean everybody. I'm not excluding anyone. No favorites here. Bye, Gene Rayburn for Match Game 74. Join us next time. Bye. Today's Constellation Prizes are Miro Matic Electric Housewares, including bacon served casserole, electric broiler, and supplement circulator, fresh food coffee faster than instant from Miro. And for McCormick Chilling, spices, extracts, and seasoning mixes, featuring bag and season products for convenient up use. McCormick in the East, Chilling in the West. And California Diet Fakes, one of nature's best sources of vitamins, minerals, and quick energy, fruit, sugar, naturally good to eat and nutritious, California Dried Fakes. And heavy-duty Glamourine Rug Shampoo, the rug cleaner that's the efficient, easy way to clean her brighter rugs from Glamourine. This is Johnny Olson speaking for Match Game 74, a Mark Goodson, Bill Tottenham production. This program was edited for broadcast.